This free step-by-step -step video comes to you directly from Haynes. You can complete more than 200 jobs on this vehicle when you purchase the complete Haynes online manual at haynes.com. Place chocks each side of the rear wheel diagonally opposite the wheel to be removed. Using the tool provided in the vehicle toolkit, pull the anti-theft wheel nut cover from place. Using the anti-theft wheel nut adapter where necessary, slacken each of the wheel nuts half a turn. Position the jack head under the front suspension arm and raise the vehicle until the wheel is clear of the ground. Support the vehicle with an axle stand under the front axle. Fully unscrew the retaining nuts and remove the wheel. Slacken and remove the lower guide pin bolt. Use a screwdriver to lever the caliper outwards a little, pushing the pistons back into the caliper body. Pivot the caliper upwards, then secure it to the suspension strut with wire. Remove the outer brake pad from the mounting bracket, followed by the inner pad. Measure the thickness of the brake pad friction material. If any pad is worn down to 2 mm or less, all four front brake pads must be renewed. Using aerosol brake cleaner and a soft brush, clean any dust and dirt from the mounting bracket and caliper. Check that the guide pins slide easily in the bracket and that the rubber gaiters are not damaged. If new pads are to be fitted, the pistons must be pushed fully back into the caliper housing. Ideally, this should be done with a piston retraction tool, although a G-clamp or similar will suffice. As the pistons are pushed back, keep an eye on the fluid level in the reservoir and remove any surplus with a syringe. Position the new inner brake pad into the caliper mounting bracket with its chamfered edge at the lower edge and the friction material against the disc face. Fit the new outer brake pad again with the chamfer at the lower edge. Pivot the caliper back down over the pads. Press the caliper into place, then insert the guide pin bolt. And tighten it to the specified torque. Repeatedly depress the brake pedal to bring the pads into full contact with the disc. Repeat the procedure on the remaining front brake, then check the brake fluid level.
Locate the wheel over the hub studs. Then refit and lightly tighten the retaining nuts. Remove the axle stand. and gently lower the vehicle to the ground. Tighten the wheel nuts to the specified torque. Refit the cover to the anti-theft nut and remove the wheel chocks.